The narrative on paper for Duck Pimples is incredible. This is exactly the kind of animation narrative that I love. The execution of it is not quite as great as I would have hoped, but it's still a really enjoyable short and I'm really pleased that they chose Donald Duck to be the protagonist of this one because I love Donald Duck. This was released originally in 1945, directed by the brilliant Jack Kinney, and in this one Donald Duck is a very big fan of scary stories, of crime, and he mysteriously receives these whodunit novels and he begins to read them and he becomes so immersed that the novel basically comes to life around him and it's a case involving some missing pearls and we meet various different suspects and there is a little bit of a mystery of well who done it and it breaks all kinds of dimensions when the novel's author uh, a character they've created called J, uh, J. Harold King also enters the animation and Donald Duck is in a very weird world where he is in his own world, but he's in the world of the novel, but also the author of the novel is in this world as well. And it's a lot of fun to watch, and I just love the concept of being immersed in a novel. I, as an avid reader, I'm sure you will know what this feels like if you're a reader as well. Or maybe even as a film fan, you can imagine yourself becoming part of a world, and it's such a fantastic concept. And I love that they've shown this with Donald Duck, because Donald Duck... He's usually very angry in his in his shorts and it's not overly pleasant, although I love him. But with this one, I think it's great that he's sitting down and reading, doing a very calming activity. Although, of course, War Unfolds is not necessarily calming. I really enjoyed it. I definitely did. It wasn't perfection. It wasn't quite what I had hoped for based on the description of it. But I did thoroughly enjoy it. I think the narrative flows well, the narrative within a narrative makes a lot of sense, everything is connected very well, the animation style of course is very pleasing, and we have a, our usual brilliant voice cast with Clarence Nash's Donald Duck, um, Jack Mather voices, quite a few individuals as well, and um, as does Billy Bletcher. If you're a fan of Donald Duck or of Disney or of novels, I'd say it's definitely worth reading. Duck pimples may not have been perfect, but I did still really enjoy it.